Hello, I'm uh, Gerald Wyckoff, and I have uh, introduced now a series of uh, lessons on uh, the proper technique for jam pegging. A jam peg fastening machine differs radically from conventional protractor machines. Here you have a do-it-yourself assembly kit. It's six inches, all metal, and it'll last a lifetime. You can remove this and convert it, of course, to the professional level uh, using this peg, which incidentally is uh, made out of Madagascar uh, ebony. And you can cut that way. The manner in which a calibrated jam peg differs from a conventional jam peg is the fact that an old jam peg consisted merely of a stick and a board. And you'd guess as to where on the rotation or the index the angles were to be cut, and you also pretty much guessed what the angles were. The calibration, which consists of little more than high school trigonometry, consists of a hypotenuse or the peg, which is consistently six inches, the jam, which represents the opposite side in a right triangle, in which each of the angles is calibrated carefully as to the height the shortening or lengthening of the angle here and then of course as the angle changes the adjacent side reduces or lengthens and that's what the calibrated jam peg is the indexes are controlled with a index gear and a trigger and you merely turn it for the number of facets you want slide the trigger into place place it into the proper angle, and go ahead and slot. There will be a series of lessons now, uh, but here is more on the triangle or the calibration theory behind the patented calibrated jam peg.